In this video, we're going to continue doing one population z-test on the given problem. In the previous problem, we already did step 1, which is state the null and alternative hypothesis, and steps 2 and 3, computing using Excel. So now we will now go to step 4, which is stating the conclusion and interpreting the results. So, before we go to that, let us get to know what are the values in our table. Let me just open that a little bit. There we go. Alright, so now we can read it. So now let's see what we have in our table. So here we have our means that we have computed. So the mean of this one is actually 75. The mean of our variable, which is the cost of men's athletic shoes, is 75 for this one. So C75, where in the mean is 0 because, well, that's what we have here, 0. And the variance is this one. This is the square of standard deviation, 19.2, and this is what we inputted. The observation is the number of data or cells that were used. So in the first one, it's 36, which is corresponding to the problem, and here 1 because we only had one value here. And now, so this value here, which we are encircling now, is actually the test statistic. And since this is a z-test statistic, and since this is a z-test, then its value would be a z-score or a z-statistic. And this is what we get. And this is what was used to compute for the p-values this p-value and this p-value. But as you might have noticed, there are two p-values. One for one tail and one for two tail. So for this one, we have to go back now to step one. We have identified that it's a one tail lower tail, so therefore we need to use this p-value. Now that we've got that sorted, we shall now go to step number four. In step 4, we shall make the decision of rejecting and or not rejecting our null hypothesis. And if you remember, our guide is that if P is low, the null must go. Which, which would mean if the P value is smaller than our level of significance, then we shall reject the null hypothesis. So now, our P value rounded off to two decimal places is 0 0.06 because that is 0 0.059 so we are rounded off to 0 0.06 and our level of significance is 0 0.10 so is 0 0.06 smaller than 0 0.10 the answer is yes 0 0.06 is smaller than 0 0.010 therefore our decision is to reject the null hypothesis. Now we shall write our conclusion here. Therefore, there is sufficient evidence to reject our null hypothesis, or we can just write it as HO. Thus, the mean. cost of men's athletic shoes, let me, I will leave it to you to write it, is less than $80. Or in other words, we can also say that the claim is true. Because this is the claim and we had to conclude with the alternative, so the claim must be true. Because that is the claim. It's less than $80. So, if you're going to notice, I have a first sentence here. There is sufficient evidence to reject HO. What evidence am I talking about? This evidence is actually our p-value that we used here. That is the evidence that we are talking about. And we would always have to put whether there is sufficient evidence or there is no sufficient evidence. So that is step four, and that is how we do 
a one population z test. So again, let's recall the steps. Step one, we state the null and alternative hypothesis and the direction. Step two, we use Excel for our computation. That will also cover step three. And step four, we decide. And then we finally conclude.